just clipped it off with uh, this clipper. Pretty effective. Hi, welcome. Today we're gonna look at some uh, options for uh, mounting a different uh, camera uh, than this stock camera on uh, the Lizard 95. The stock camera is uh, actually pretty bad. Uh, it's a 600 TVL uh, CMOS camera uh, and it has a 2500 milliwatts uh, uh, VTX. Um, this VTX doesn't save uh, when you push it to 100 milliwatts. Uh, it does when you power it back on. It goes back to 25, uh, twi 25. So it's pretty annoying. So one of the best uh, options you can get uh, for replacing this standard uh, CMOS camera is the Runcam Microsoft uh, 600 TBL CCD camera, uh, and with the Ishin ATX03. I can put the <laughs> links in the description. The Runcam uh, Microsoft looks like this, nice and orange. Uh, it's a very good camera for this size. Uh, the bad thing with this uh, frame stack is that uh, this camera, the run cam, doesn't fit in. It's too big. Uh, so you need to have a, a different mounting system on this uh, uh, quad to get uh, to use this. This is uh, what the whole stack uh, look like. Uh, this is the VTX, is the ATX 03 eSheen. Uh, hooked up with the run cam uh, and this is the plug that goes to the flight controller uh, and gets the OSD information. Uh, I can um, link this uh, schematics to how to wire this in the description below. One of the cheapest options is this uh, 3D printed uh, uh, camera holders. I found on uh, Thingiverse. Uh, you can just download these files and uh, print them on your own uh, 3D printer. Uh, so the pro, uh, the pro is the <laughs> that they are cheap. Uh, the cons are that you need uh, either a 3D printer or uh, you can go to 3D hubs and uh, get some other to print them for you. And they need uh, to make these fit. You need to cut uh, the carbon on the side plates. Uh, this this thing need to go <laughs> need to go away. Um, if you see here, this part will not fit if you don't cut this part out. So now I am finished cutting one of the side plates. Look here. Cut this uh, top part off from here and then you can fit this um, out like this. Um, I saw on the Thingiverse there was a complaint making this whole fit. It's pretty narrow uh, but you need to just squeeze it to make it fit. It will fit, uh, it's just a tight squeeze. Um, what I did to make uh, the cut here is was uh, that I used the leatherman, uh, the saw uh, point on the leatherman. Just started uh, uh, getting this weak uh, top spot off, and uh, on the bottom here I started to saw with the leatherman. And uh, <laughs> after a while, I get uh, so tired, I just clipped it off with uh, this clipper. Now we're cut both the side blades. Mm -hmm. When you when you have cut these, you need to file them uh, and make sure they are flat and nice for the mounts. Now we're gonna try to make them fit. As I said before, the um, the hole fitting here is a problem uh, because it's a very tight fit, and you have to put uh, the right amount of pressure on this uh, screw to get it inside. Let's see. So what I do is to um, pivot this um, this screw 
so it goes into like this. Now it fits like a glove, like this. One down, one to go. Both uh, cameramans are uh, ready to rock and roll. Let's try it out. So now we can take our lizard. Uh, here, we need to remove these two screws on each side of the standoff and pull the standoff out, uh, both sides. And you can easily eject your tower like this. Remember to unplug this uh, camera was the power plug. Uh, I already chopped this off, so it's no problem for me. Now we need to put these uh, side plates back on for a new mount. Like this. And the other one. There. So I put this standoff uh, here uh, between these uh, plates now, uh, but uh, <laughs> my screws are so small they don't get any uh, torque in this standoff, so it's more like just holding it in place, uh, like this. Uh, I should probably get some uh, longer screws here. Now we can try to fit this uh, little guy inside this uh, new mount. And my screw are too short. And my screw are too long. Um, two, four screws. Let's try them. Looks like we got the right number of screws. There you. Pretty nice. But the only problem now is to uh, attach our uh, with the X uh, in this stack because it doesn't uh, really fit on top here. It can't, it can't go down uh, in the stack because it's too uh, wide. And you prob pretty much need to just put it up top here. Double-sided sticky tape, white, just put it down, like this, now, ready to fly. There is also a standoff place uh, in here in the front, to make the, the two plates more uh, rigid and more stable, um, but you need some somewhat longer screws than this uh, M4 screws. Uh, also in this uh, middle part there is a standoff uh, if you want to make it even more uh, stable. You can do that. Yeah. As I said, this uh, type of mod is uh, more work uh, as you need to cut these uh, side plates up here. Um, this uh, 3D printed uh, mount is it's a hard fit in the back screw, uh, but it's very cheap and uh, it flies well. Uh, now for uh, our easiest uh, solution is this uh, 3D printed uh, mount you can get on off uh, eBay. I put the uh, links below. It's also uh, somewhat flexible it's pro it's uh, that is already built you don't have to tinkle or fiddle or uh, cut uh, the carbon and the one downside I see is that it's more expensive it, this one cost eleven dollars uh, and with the shipping uh, my <laughs> to my country it's uh, thirteen uh, and a half dollar uh, on top of that so <laughs> 
me it's kind of uh, expensive for you maybe not uh, to make this fit in our copter we just uh, re removed the original uh, and you just have to put it in like this there that wasn't so hard Uh, now our uh, camera easy simple like this um, here you can use a double sided stick tape on top and then it's this one was uh, on uh, holder for the VTX so all you have to do is to put this on its uh, own bed attach the camera this we put this plug down here plug it in like this now we just tuck the, the cables down here Or can also put the tape over so they uh, they stick in there. Uh, now you're done. <laughs> Extremely easy. In my opinion, this uh, this mount is the best uh, option for this copter, the Lister Night Five. Um, it's the most expensive, but it's uh, no fiddling and uh, no stress. You just put it in, everything works. Uh, for a third option, um, are also people saying that uh, they can use this uh, the default uh, side plates, uh, but you will have some uh, angle on the side plates. Um, I, I have not tried this, uh, I can't recommend you trying this yourself. Uh, if you do this, doesn't look good uh, they will the arms the side plates will be on an angle or they will be stretched and uh, have some leverage so we can try to do this you need to have the, the screws on the, um, the camera very loose and even Let's try this. So as you can see, they they are bending outwards. Uh, you will have an angle. And if you tighten this, um, this uh, part is now in uh, a stretch from here to there. You can also see this is bending quite a lot uh, on the down part here. So if you have a bad crash, <laughs> it may snap off easier than uh, if with the other kind of mounts. So I'm not sure about this one. I haven't flown this uh, type of mount uh, before, so <laughs> but I wouldn't re recommend it. Um, if you do so, be very careful. I don't know what uh, can happen, but uh, uh, looks this part. Uh, is having a lot of stress um, because it's uh, somewhat bent so be be careful so this is my build this is what I use regularly I can highly recommend this uh, type of uh, camera mount easy to install and uh, it looks very smooth this one it works. Uh, I think it's uh, too much of a job to make it fit, and uh, you need to cut up, uh, the side plates. And uh, the last one, uh, I think it's more uh, unsafe than anything else, uh, and it looks kind of weird. Um, but I, uh, if you have tried it, comment down below.
it's uh, fun to hear if you have tested it and it works pretty much okay yeah uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time